What's going on YouTube? You already know who it is. Back at a brand new video for you guys today. So I was requested to check this out. I was going to get to it eventually. Okay? So it says top 10 typecast actresses. This is from Watch Mojo. Go ahead and check their channel out if you'd like. So I'm not sure exactly what that means. Like I'm, I don't know if that means like are they playing the repeated roles or something. It says in the in description. Her again. Didn't she already play that gal? Okay, so let's check it out. Type, type. Top 10 typecast actresses. Let's check it on out, shall we, from Watch Mojo. In about a three, two, one. I was yeah, wrong. It's like we found your Mary, Ted. That was a good huh, movie, Again? Though. There's something. Negative. Didn't about she already Mary. play that gal? Tight little package. Affirmative. Don't they Welcome all? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 typecast actresses. <gasps> you won't be able to resist. For this list, we've picked actresses who always seem like they're playing the same person in different movies they act in. They may have varied the role a little along the way, but many of the characters they portray quintessentially share the same traits. Ooh. Sometimes it also feels right, like then. the actress is just playing herself. <laughs> that was a good Number movie 10, too, though. Kira Knightley, typecast as feisty period piece heroine. Want to know why? Do tell, dearie. There must be something about Kira Knightley's face that makes directors want to put her back in time, and often in a corset. But no matter what past era they send her back to, she frequently plays a woman that isn't typical to her period. I run it! I run it with wobbly legged rock soaked pirates! And she's often a rebel willing to fight and speak her mind. Only a little. Especially when she's not supposed to. Dancing. Even if one's partner is barely tolerable. Her characters also manage to be full of I mean, isn't that and just Hollywood, though? Despite they being love constrained by a floor-length ball gown and, and hoop skirt. Why do you call him my husband? I mean, he, he is my husband. He's, he's a But it was awkward. My honor. You made an agreement. Do you think of your honor when you're sharing halls with your colonel? Ooh. Number nine, Sandra Bullock. Typecast as like down Sandra to earth Bullock. protagonist. Hey, get your ass behind the yellow line. <laughs> She's appeared in so many movies that have just screamed, I'm just like you. <laughs> you know, they said. Oh. <laughs> Girl, Sandy really often snoring. plays the woman who's sexy Girl, but doesn't was a... know it. Hey. You know what? I'm not even going to do it. Right. Is zany but sensible and also stern but warm and friendly. Bullock is a wonderful physical actor. Don't you dare lie to me. But sometimes it's just a little bit too much. And she's been in some serious duds. Is this me? Fortunately, Sandra is aware that she's got range. After all, she won an Oscar for The Blind Side. You threatened my son. One too. You threaten me. Is that what's and his name was from? And later nominated for her work in Gravity, uh, in which she was anything but down to earth. Mission specialist Ryan Stone, I am off structure and drifting. Do you copy? Well, damn. Number eight, Angelina Jolie, typecast as a tough sex pot. I woke up. Y'all keep on with these robots. They're gonna come down here for real. seems it's to be the only one that Hollywood Tell can you. rely on to be both tough and sexy. Chicken shit. Pussy! Ooh. Whether she's the villain or the hero, she's always someone you expect not to cry or to show any signs of weakness. You're wasting my f***ing time. Why are you here? I don't know, so hit me. But somehow Damn, she's a young a James. magnet. She's often smarter than everyone around her and a physical machine. Stop! And she'll save the world in a crop top or a dress with a thigh-high slit. Oh dear. Repairman, five minutes. Number seven, Julia Roberts, typecast as strong-willed woman who breaks down. That's my signature, and above it it says, Dear Rufus, you belong in jail. Beautiful woman with hard exterior seems to be the most accurate description of the majority of Julia Roberts' roles. You told me I had a good shot. I had no okay, shot. Okay, let's try and settle down oh, here. Oh, settle down. I've got $74 Ooh. in the bank. I can't too. afford to settle down. Ever since her turn in Pretty Woman, she's been playing a tough cookie who needs someone, most times a love interest. The bad stuff is easier to believe. To call her out and make her that. feel something. I'm also just it's a always girl. a love scene. Standing in front of a boy. Standing in front of a boy. Asking him to love her. 
Even when it's not in the context of a rom-com, oh, like an Erin Brockovich, she's still depicting a no-nonsense woman with a heart of gold. Just want to be a good mom, nice person, a decent citizen. I just want to take good care of my kids, you know? We all know mm -hmm. that by the end of the movie, she'll also be guffawing and cracking her trademark grin. Sure, for five bucks. Number six, Cameron Diaz, I like Cameron. typecast as sweet, funny babe. You're looking very beautiful. Thank you. We get it. Cameron is one of the guys. I'm usually not this fun. In almost every role she's played, her characters are ridiculously funny women right, who like goofy. going to baseball games and drinking beer. Then I found I was just a sentimental schmuck like all those flighty nitwits I'd always pitied. But at the same time, the only shit she'll she'll been always in. look insanely Charlie's hot Angels, and wear high high dresses. I know, it's crazy. She did the damn Diaz thing in that. this character uh, on Drew either Barrymore, end of the Lucy spectrum, Lou. coming off as either oh, naive sweet. about her looks or using them the to math. get what she wants. Come on, what Hello? do you want? You can work something out here. Show me your breasts. What? Ooh. But in either incarnation, Herbert. she's a guy's girl through and through. <laughs> Number five. Helena Bonham Carter, typecast as Weird Woman. Don't you think so? Earlier in her career, she Helena in, uh, Bonham Carter Ocean's was Eight? often was cast as romantic heroines in movies set in the early 20th century or even earlier, like Lady Jane. Yes, I know. However, around the time she started dating director Tim Burton, he began casting her as the eccentric lady in many of his films. Nothing to be afraid of, love. Now we're more likely to recognize her with her curly hair askew, babbling incoherently and in all black attire. We've got a nice respectable business now. Even when she's not working with Burton, she's cast in this type of role. And this is most notably seen in the like Harry I Potter said, films. When it matters, it's most. Hollywood. Can't tell me otherwise. Her back into the hole. Number four. Meg Ryan, typecast as romantic comedy queen. I have you to thank for it. For the first time in my life, when confronted with a horrible, insensitive person, I know I exactly what I want to say and what. Young Meg probably didn't know that every romantic comedy she starred in was going to be a giant hit. And the thing is, I, I feel really fine. But thanks to the success of now iconic movies like When Harry Met Sally, Meg Ryan came to be the oh, woman that you she did that loud? to make viewers care about whether her characters found love or not. She's the queen of making sympathetic faces that have made both the men in her movies and audiences who watch them fall in love with her. You say things like that and you make it impossible for me to hate you. Yep, she'll always be America's <laughs> sweetheart. Well, now that is so sweet. Number three, Jennifer, I Aniston, like Jennifer Aniston, typecast as star of bland rom-coms. And they liked it. And it stuck. She's done a little better Ooh. for herself with recent roles in raunchier comedies. But the bulk of Jennifer Aniston's parts have been in arguably bland romantic comedies. Are you sure? Often, the movies she's appeared in are the kind where viewers can't distinguish one plot from another. Kidding again. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. Aniston seems typecast to play a single woman of a certain age that can't seem to find the right guy, even though she so Hollywood. clearly deserves one. I'm not looking for cute guys. Has he sworn off men since he dumped her last boyfriend? I remember her crazy ass from bringing down the house. To the, the blonde persona one. the tabloids Queen created for her. Ass. So it's good she's branching out. And I respect the institution of marriage way too much to violate it. So that's why you're going to have to f me well before the wedding. Number two, Drew Barrymore, typecast as Wholesome Girl Next Door. SZA! Hollywood has been telling song. us forever that Drew Barrymore is the slightly weird girl next door. We love Drew Barrymore. Don't do that. Okay. Her roles commonly have her portraying that girl who's really a diamond in the rough and just needs a willing man to see her true potential. Do you mind if we switch seats and I sat in the window seat? Mm. I hate the aisle seat. However, mm. she usually has one unfortunate quality, like a bad haircut that keeps her from being desirable. And more often than I think not, that's the point Adam Sandler me. seems to be that guy willing right to there. save her. Well, my fingers are available for your sniffing pleasure anytime you need them. In fact, the two actors have played similar characters together in three rom-coms. I don't know who you are, Henry, but I dream about you almost every night. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I named my cat after Springsteen. Okay, well, what was his name? Oh. That makes sense. Well, see, that's the thing. I'm not really wanting to see kind of girl. Am I, Jake? Nobody can tell me. 
that it's a bunch of old baseball cards. And I find out that it's the launch codes for I need to see her face. I can't see what the hell she's like. Then let's just say we no longer have an agreement. Have you finished? Yes. Oh. He doesn't want to hear about things like implants and oral sex. <laughs> you talk about oral sex? Oh, look, we're here. <laughs> hey, Rob. You know, I just wanted to call and thank you for that message you sent me last night. It really made me feel like less of an asshole. Mm. Well, how are you holding up? Boy, let's go! Number oh, yeah, one, she Michelle all Rodriguez. The... Right, cast badass. As badass chick. Ow! I smell skanks. Need a woman that looks like she can kick ass? Call Michelle. I said shut up with that! <clears throat> Rodriguez portrays characters that resemble each other so frequently that it's gotten people thinking she's actually just playing thinly veiled versions of herself. What? Her roles commonly have her depicting a woman in traditionally male-dominated jobs, like being a soldier, fighter, cop, or mechanic. Further enforcing her tough chick image, we'll often see her in a tank top that shows off her impressive arms, and will sport a don't mess with me expression on her face. She's good at what she does, but a little range wouldn't hurt. And I was hoping for some sort of tactical plan that didn't involve martyrdom. Do you agree with our list? You know, coming up, you know, growing up, watching these movies, I didn't pay attention to all that type of stuff, this whole typecast type of thing. But you see, as I got older, and I, you know, kind of seen and heard a lot of things about how Hollywood works, and especially with this whole type of thing. I mean, let's just not, let's not sit up here and act like in Hollywood, I and mean, when it comes to women, when they get typecast into these same roles, I mean, that's the word, that's the way of Hollywood, pretty much. I mean, because I mean, think about it, just like with black women, I'm surprised they didn't mention any in here, but oh well. They get typecasted into these same old roles, either the heavy set black woman, ghetto, uh, stood, <laughs> lesbian, whatever. Um, got a bunch of kids, you know, not not desirable, all of that. Or if they do, te they do cast a, a black woman in like a more positive role. They'll be of a lighter complexion or something. Oh shit, I almost knocked my microphone over. Um, they'll be of a lighter complexion or they'll be like racially ambiguous. So that means probably not all the way black, but they'll try to fool you and say, oh, she black and knowing damn well she really ain't. But that's for another conversation. But I mean, it's the truth though. You know, people in my, you know, people in this community, y'all should see it by now. Y'all should see it. But like I said, it's Hollywood, especially like how certain movies, you know, especially rated R movies, how they'll like expose all of a woman's body parts, but yet you'll only see like a man's chest and his abs and then maybe his ass, just like for an example. Power, right? When it comes to the love scenes, they're not, more than likely not right now, especially not right now, they're not gonna expose y'all dingalings. They're just not. Okay, this is gonna get a little explicit. They're not gonna expose y'all dingalings, but they're gonna show the woman's titties, ass, breasts, vaginas, toes, booty butt cheeks, navels, areolas, earrings, earlobes, the back, the ass again, the ass crack, the legs, the thighs, the inner thigh, all of that. They're going to show all that on the woman. But yet the man, all you see is his booty butt cheeks. All you going to see is his booty butt cheeks. The only time when somebody got halfway exposed was Bow Wow in this old love scene. It looked like it was a, like a low budget movie. And you can see a little side of his balls showing. So they were probably really having sex. And then, what was another one? Oh, in this movie, I think it was called Hall Pass with Owen Wilson. Right, go figure. But um, yeah, but anyway, the moral of the story is that's just the way Hollywood is, unfortunately. They type, they, uh, they cast a lot of these same female actors into these same type of roles and they take them though you know what i'm saying so i mean unless money's running short and they they have no choice i mean they don't they don't have to take that role but you know like i said whatever that's hollywood holly weird whatever but with that being said this is a pretty interesting video you guys let me know what you thought about it. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, okay? And comment anything else I can react to for you guys. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my Instagram. And hit that notification bell so you guys can know when I have a video up and loaded. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Thank you all for watching. It's Taylor Rain, and I'm out.